General Patton himself will be proud to hear about this new announcement. This year, the new M1A 2C SEP4 Abrams tank rolled out on the block. The armor system will now fight back against incoming rounds, and there's a giant game changer in how its munitions work. Word on the street is if we're lucky, these upgrades will add another five hours at the motor pool and 14 hours at the wash rack. So all you 19 kilo tanker types have that to look forward to. The tank will include a new trophy active and passive protection system. The plan is to be able to destroy incoming artillery rounds before they even land on you. The new version of the tank is the heaviest version yet, weighing in at 73.6 short tons, half of that weight being the four crew members inside. <laughs> Got them, those fat tankers doing a job with responsibilities I can never handle myself. Hey, we're not fat, you crunchy. Do tankers really call infantry crunchies? All I'm saying is that while you're ruck marching to work, I'm showing up in a $4 million whip. You got me there. Before the new upgrade, the tank crew used to have to decide what round to load in the turret before they showed up on the battlefield. And if they decided they need to fire a different round instead, they were out of luck and would have to reload the turret to either be an anti-personnel, anti-aircraft, or anti-tank munition, which could cost them valuable seconds. Now, with advances in technology, they're able to use one round. This means the crew won't have to load specific tank rounds, they can adjust the explosive effects on the fly. This consolidates four different types of munitions into one, the advanced multi-purpose munition. Since the 90s, we've wielded the 120 millimeter smooth bore gun as the tank's main weapon. Originally, it had the smaller 105, which Congress came to believe wasn't enough firepower. Right now, the tank crew is made up of four members. You always need a driver or turret trolls, turret lizards as tankers call them. There's some Monday motivation for you with that tattoo right there. So you might ask why are they doing these upgrades now when the war is winding down? They want the Abrams to be able to knock on any near peer door in the future with confidence. Knock knock, Abrams here. You look good, have you lost weight? No. Didn't think so. The tank will include a new slab of armor on the front turret as well as the composite armor which lines the entire tank. It's made up of sandwich plates of non-explosive reactive armor between conventional steel plates. The armor is reinforced with depleted uranium layers. And yes, it can stop an RPG. That bad boy is rated to stop up to 900 millimeter heat rounds. In the 1980s, the Abrams replaced the aging M60 main battle tank. And since then, they've been modernizing that platform by adding upgrades. As with every weapons development program, many considerations are taken into account and sometimes it's not always about crafting the best equipment. The Pentagon recently had to ask Congress to stop buying additional tanks that it didn't feel it even needed. Even the approval of these upgrades are tied to job programs sometimes. If you ask me, the M1 Abrams tank upgrades are definitely enough to make sure we have the best tanks in the world for the foreseeable future.